because you know the net will fall uh, all the around you the moment you get it. It's a question of time. The net has to fall into the middle of the and not to be pulled down. Thank 
take yourself time. Good, take your time. And now start to swing into this motion. You be careful, I don't overdo it. Very carefully. I will see the irregularity a little bit. But it is it was more smooth yesterday. And on this way, on this way, it is more obvious. So when a horse who is raining is on the hollow side, this this uh, wrong motion is more visible. The outside half on half on half on, I will keep on missing half on. This is each time the horse takes over. You should have a race, you should perform, because pull it. He's wrong, you cannot pull it back. But he may do it. He the half on. Squeeze the hammer over, squeeze it over, squeeze it yeah? Is it really quick or take the rain? Shake, breeze. Come back, breeze. Even you cannot. He's strong at this moment. Give and come back. Give and come back. If you hold, if you hang the rain, if you hold this rain longer than three quarters of a second, you lose into it and he pulls you off. So you have to break this, this tug of war in between and come back. Dip, come back. Then suddenly they start to stay with you. Good job. Very nice. So stay on the wall, stay on the track. Here on the long side, give one of the pushes and make the strike with your legs. Over this arm. You stay a little bit soft, in soft contact, but it was good you gave. I think it almost a little bit too much. Maybe it was my fault. You should have been a little bit there. So outside rein, inside leg. Open your inside rein. Circle. Open your inside rein. Inside leg, really on, solid. And outside you control the tempo. If your leg makes him run, outside the half fault, give. Outside the half fault, let go. Open your inside rein. Put your right leg on. Half fault, now softer. Soften it between your legs, soften with the reins. Come back soft. Solid half hold outside, low, low, the lower the better. Squeeze the lemon. Leg on, leg on, good, give. The back will fall, give, give, yes. Good. Inside leg to the gut. The more you can, so the feel is you push the ribcage out, the more you can give him balance, stretch him outside, indirect bend, adjust the horse to the circle by giving outside. One more circle. Stay a little bit away from the track when you come back to the wall on the short side, so that there is not so much to look at. Yeah, and take a little bit show rein. So use your inside leg more, open your inside rein, have him rib cage out. This is your feel. Yeah? A horse who takes over control, pushes your, your leg away with the ribs, falls against your inside leg, head up, and then he takes over. If you are the one who keeps the rib cage online, I'll break up, open your rein, control the tempo outside with the outside rein, and have your leg on. Really on, and you feel the spur, and you feel the spur. Yes. Did you feel it? Yeah. And this is your job. Soften the horse on your leg. Give him outside a You should give one or two inches. Give a little bit. So that he can adjust to the circle. If you hold this outside rein, as if it's a piece of wood, the horse will... You lose him again. You lose him again. So, so one more circle, and then let it go to the bottom. What did you do tonight? <laughs> Who made you be a better rider? Did you read a book? Indeed, very good job. Oh, and what do you like it? Is this how it is normally at home?